World Bank sanctions 350 billion United States dollars to Gujarat. The World Bank has sanctioned 350 billion United States dollars to Gujarat to implement the system's reform endeavors for transformed health achievement in Gujarat (SRESTHAG). Under the SRESTHA Gujarat project, the government will undertake the initiative to improve the quality of the health system of the state by expanding the health services to the rural and urban people. He approves acquisition of stake in SMW by OFB Tech Private Limited. The Competition Commission of India Key has approved the acquisition of majority stake in SMW is part Private Limited by OFB Tech Private Limited. OFB Tech is engaged in the business of wholesale trading of bulk raw materials such as steel, non-ferrous metals, industrial chemicals, etc. SMW is part is engaged in the business of manufacturing products such as TMT steel bars and steel billets. Saudi Tourism signs Mao with East My Trip. The Saudi Tourism Authority and East My Trip have signed an Mao to boost inbound tourism to Saudi Arabia by leveraging the company's travel network. Through this Mao, the two will explore opportunities to collaborate on key initiatives and undertake various activities to promote and develop quality tourism experiences in Saudi Arabia and expand its presence in the Indian market. World B Day, the 20th of May. World B Day is observed annually on the 20th of May across the globe. The day is marked to raise awareness about the essential roles bees play in supporting people and the environment. The theme for 2022 is Be Engaged, celebrating the diversity of bees and beekeeping systems. It is celebrated on the birth anniversary of Slovenian beekeeper Anton Jan or Skaran A, who was the pioneer of modern beekeeping. Mushfiq becomes the first Bangladesh batter to score 5,000 runs. Bangladesh batter Mushfiq Rahim achieved the distinction of being the first cricketer in the country to score 5,000 runs in Test matches. The feat has been achieved 22 years after Bangladesh played its first Test match. He is the 99th cricketer in the world to achieve this goal. Mushfiq scored a century on the 18th of May 2022 on the fourth day of the first Test match against Sri Lanka. Supreme Court appoints three-member committee of administrators. The Supreme Court has appointed a three-member committee of administrators core. It will be headed by former Apex Court Judge A R Dave to manage the affairs of the All India Football Federation (AIFF) and adoption of its constitution in line with the National Sports Code and Model Guidelines. The core will also comprise of Dr. Sai Kureishi. former chief election commissioner as its member Manisha Moon and Pavin win bronze in women's boxing sees hips two indian boxers Manisha Moon in 57 kg and Pavin Huda in 63 kg category won bronze medals at the ba women's world boxing championships with this the indian contingent concluded its campaign with three medals India RS overall medal tally in World Women RS Boxing Championships has gone up to 39, including 10 gold, 8 silver, and 21 bronze in the 12 editions of the prestigious event. Gem Inc's Mao with Self-Employed Women's Association, Gofta Marketplace, Gem and Self-Employed Women's Association, Seva Have Inc and Mao. It has been signed for the advocacy. outreach mobilization and capacity building of last mile women led micro and small enterprises women entrepreneurs associations etc presently 1.31 lakh women msc entrepreneurs are registered on the gem portal and they have fulfilled approximately 5.7 lakh orders trailer of india bangladesh co production feature film released Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur and his Bangladeshi counterpart Dr. Hasan Mahmood jointly released a 90-second intriguing trailer of the India Bangladesh co-production feature film on Banga Bandhu or in May 2022. The film is named Mujib the Making of a Nation and has been directed by Shyam Venegal. The co-production agreement for the film was signed in January 2020.
इंडियाज निखत जरीन विंस गोल्ड एट वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप्स इंडिया और एस निखत जरीन वॉन द गोल्ड मेडल इन द 52 किलोग्राम कैटेगरी एट द वुमेन और एस वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप्स शी डिफीटेड थाईलैंड और एस चित पॉन्ग जूटमास इन द फ्लाई वेट फाइनल इन इस्तानबुल टर्की ऑन मे नाइनटीन विद दिस विन Nick had becomes only the fifth Indian women or as boxer after Mary Kom Sarita Devi Jenny RL and Lekha KC to win a gold at the world championships 41st edition of Hunar Haat begins in Agra Union Minister for Minority Affairs Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi inaugurated the 41st edition of Hunar Haat in Agra on May 19th Hunar Haat provides market exposure and employment opportunities to artisans, craftsmen and traditional culinary experts. More than 800 artisans and craftsmen from 32 states and union territories are participating in the 12-day Hunar Haat. Tata Projects appoints Vinayak Pai as CEO, MD designate. Infrastructure firm Tata Projects Ltd on May 18. announce the appointment of Vinayak Pai as its CEO and managing director designate Pai has been recently inducted into the company or as board as executive director Tata Projects is currently executing some of the most marquee projects across the country including the new parliament building third thursday of may global accessibility awareness day global accessibility awareness day is observed every year on the third thursday of may It is an awareness day focusing on digital access and inclusion for the more than 1 billion people alive today who live with disabilities or impairments. Global Accessibility Awareness Day was launched in May 2012. PM Modi to participate in Quad Leaders Summit in Tokyo on May 24. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will participate in the Quad Leaders or Summit in Tokyo on the 24th of May at the invitation of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. US President Joe Biden, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will participate in the summit. The Quad is a strategic security dialogue between Australia, India, Japan and the USA. Cuts India's economic growth forecast to 7.3% for 2022-23. Global ratings on Wednesday slashed India's growth forecast to 7.3% from 7.8% for FY23 on rising inflationary pressure and longer than expected Russia Ukraine war had in December last year pegged India's GDP growth in 2022-23 fiscal which began on April 1, 2022 at 7.8% Global Inc is an American corporation headquartered in Manhattan, New York City. Renowned lyricist of Bangladesh Abdul Ghaffar Chaudhary passes away. Renowned lyricist, veteran journalist and language movement activist of Bangladesh Abdul Ghaffar Chaudhary passed away at the age of 88 in London on May 19. The song written by him inspired generations of Bangladeshis to fight for their mother tongue which ultimately led to their liberation in 1971. The 21st of February is observed as the Language Matters Day in Bangladesh. Skyroot successfully test fires Vikram 1 rocket stage. Hyderabad-based startup Skyroot Aerospace has successfully completed the full duration test firing of its Vikram 1 rocket stage. Vikram 1 is India's first ever privately designed and developed rocket for commercial missions. It has three solid fuel powered stages. The third stage of it has been named Kalam 100 after renowned Indian rocket scientist and former president Dr APJ Abdul Kalam. B Govind Rajan appointed as the new CEO of Royal Enfield. Aicha Motors, the parent company of Royal Enfield, has announced appointing B Govind Rajan as the motorcycle brand or as chief executive officer. In addition to being the CEO of Royal Enfield, Govind Rajan will also serve as a whole time director on the board of Aicha Motors Limited EML. Govind Rajan has led the development or launch of several models at Royal Enfield. Kerala to launch India's first state owned OTT platform. India's first state owned OTT platform CSPACE will be launched by the Kerala government on November 1st.
It will offer film lovers an array of movies, short films and documentaries of their choice. The launch of the OTT platform will coincide with the state or S formation day Kerala Piravi on November 1st. CPSACE is an initiative of Kerala State Film Development Corporation KSFDC. Punjab cabinet approves 1000